So when the Fed hikes rates on Wednesday, obviously depending on whether it's going to be a quarter, a half or three quarters of a percentage point, uh, then it will have a bit of a cushion if it does decide to move lower. Again, stock yields and oil rise on strong GDP and falling jobless claims. That's not good for inflation. Uh, US stocks gain on strong data releases, including quarter four GDP. So there you go. So that's sort of the background. We just have to wait until Wednesday to see what uh, is going to happen. Uh, today we have some more core PCE uh, price index. This is out at uh, 130, 0.3 is uh, forecast previous was 0.2. And then we've got pending home sales uh, as well, which uh, again uh, was minus four in December, which is seasonal, I suppose. Not many people are buying houses in December, but January is forecast for, uh, actually that's December, minus one. That's for December. So November was minus four. Again, spring's the big, the big time for house purchases. So pending home sales minus one. So if that comes out uh, greater than minus one, that's going to be uh, also uh, add to this uh, so-called hot data. And uh, then the revised UM consumer sentiment. Uh, again, that's forecast to come out the same. It's amazing how many do come out the same as their forecast at the moment as well. Bizarre. But there you go. Uh, right, let's have a look at the markets uh, for yesterday. Implied volatility, by the way, hasn't uh, done a lot, which is why I've not shown it, as uh, can be seen here. It's actually dropped down a bit over the last few days. It's down at 15.56. So, uh, yeah, it's it's down a bit, but it's, there's, um, what I'm waiting for is that sort of big sort of drop that uh, you get uh, with this, uh, but it's not happened yet. We've had the, the low of uh, uh, 14... Uh, 1467 there which uh, we want to see this back down at that sort of uh, level to uh, give a sort of a catalyst for the uh, potential uh, correction in this market but uh, yeah again everything's waiting till Wednesday of next week isn't it apart from the stocks which are just keep moving up because uh, they can at the moment okay so in the Dow uh, yesterday you can see the market moving up strongly breaking out of the sideways move uh, Went through the 50% retracement, 62 as well. So the market's trading around this area at the moment. And uh, of course, we've got room on the upside to go to 78 and 89, depending on those numbers today at 130. 30 minute chart, same pattern all week, market down and then up. Um, you're going to have to go back and have a look. It just depends on the degree of selling is on based on what economic news items there were. And they were all, like I say, hot data. And then they move the market back to the uh, upside there. And even Friday of last week, this is uh, where this started. So you can see there's been this pattern all week in uh, the Dow. And the same in the DAX as well, where the market sold off initially and then come back. And then eventually finished moving strongly to the upside. Uh, yesterday's high, obviously the first uh, target in the crosshairs that needs to be taken out uh, you've got the close there as well and then the dp and the 50 ema to lend support at that level as well in the german dax we traded up to 89 uh, percent retracement yesterday we failed to hold at this level it's an interesting level actually because if you're going to get any correction it's going to be this way and then uh, potentially down however i suspect that we're going to take out uh, now on this occasion, we're going to take out uh, the recent high at, uh, we'll just drag this over, 15,272. So look at 15,300 as a psychological level for this market. Uh, 89 is going to be no problem for the market on the upside. 30 minute chart. There's your, your same pattern again. We, we sold off down to the 200 MA and then moved back up with uh, the US in the uh, afternoon if you look across you'll see that same thing same for wednesday same for tuesday same for monday same for friday and the same for uh so we did took a lot more to come back so so from friday of last week tying with the dow uh, where the market uh, came back oh that's right because we were coming back uh, after a Martin Luther or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's that same, let's say the same pattern that we've seen in uh, the Dow, where it's in the afternoon, in the DAX, it's in the morning, which is uh, so obvious to see in uh, this chart here. Again, the high is not too far away. Um, let's just draw a couple of uh, fibs in. 
so 89 there you've got the r1 and the high it's not a big deal it's only a matter of uh, 50 or 60 points uh, we've got the 5ma the 50 ema and also the dp the question is will it uh, move lower from the open like it has done for the last uh, five days that's uh, going to be the decider uh, and if so then uh, say watch uh, these levels on the downside but no doubt the Dow will make up for that when it kicks in in the afternoon and uh, sell off initially and then move higher is the uh, the DAX uh, futures move lower and then down again uh, to the DP and then uh, we had another move to the downside before we then saw the market uh, retest double bottom retest there and then move back up uh, with the uh, Dow overnight. And again, you've got that overnight evening session where the DAX has been following the Dow. So certainly weakness in both of these markets. It's just not uh, being allowed to move to the downside. Uh, that's uh, what's uh, indicated by these patterns for me. Um, yeah, a bit of weakness again. No surprise. Uh, DP will be an interesting uh, level, as will the close. And in the S&P, we can see that the market's up to 78% retracement there, down slightly on the overnight. Yesterday, the market was sideways, and then we got all the news, and then we moved back to the upside there, which can be seen with prices there. We've got the high just above here. Let me just move this down. There you can see that there. And again, expect a bit of a pullback to begin with. And uh, you can see there you've got the DP, which is going to be uh, an area of support, along with the 50 EMA. In the FTSE 100, yesterday we managed to uh, break the previous day's high. You want to see the previous day's high broken in a an up move. Um, it's showing a bit of weakness now, isn't it, the FTSE, unlike the DAX, which uh, continues to uh, move back to those highs that uh, we saw recently. Uh, the Dow, uh, sorry, the FTSE is uh, not anywhere near that at the moment, so just barely getting to uh, 38%. So a bit of weakness there. GBP, JPY, sideways, uh, waiting for the Fed. And uh, again, you can see there, the nice moves to the upside. There's 150 pips there uh, in the smaller time frames, but it's stuck in a sideways range in the daily, which you've got to be aware of. Back to the DP and the 200 MA at the moment, which you can see is being used as support. Uh, market needs to get back above the DP and the, 20, the five bar moving average close to get anywhere near the high of yesterday. Meanwhile, the pound is back at those highs. It's uh, done an 89% uh, retracement from there to there. You can see trading up to this uh, yesterday and uh, now showing uh, a bit of weakness on the downside as the dollar starts to uh, pick up a bit of uh, momentum so we can just draw in a few fibs on the downside there to see if the market will get back to this low that we saw on uh, the 24th which i think is tuesday of this week and uh, yeah so keep an eye on those 30 minute charts uh, a bit choppy yesterday with all of the economic news and the dollar flying around market eventually making its way back up to uh, wednesday's thursday's close well, it was actually there's there's Wednesday's close and the high. So in between the close and the high of Wednesday, there's uh, Thursday's close, and the market's already uh, traded below that and uh, gone through the uh, DP as well. It needs to stop at that 200 MA there. The dollar's moving up, as uh, can be seen by the pound moving down. So let's have a look at uh, the dollar. So yesterday, the dollar moving higher. And uh, overnight already showing some strength. Let's just have a quick look at the 30 minute chart of this. And just rescale the chart there. You can see uh, the market reacting to the hot news yesterday and uh, also following through overnight. And uh, finally, in the metals, uh, silver still stuck in this sideways range yesterday. Uh, if you look at the 30 minute chart, blistered through the psychological 24 level but what did they do they came in and absolutely monkey hammered it back down and you'll see it again as we got back to that 24 dollars the market uh, then selling off and now uh, moving lower and if the dollar continues to move higher i suspect that uh, we're going to see yesterday's low taken out with no effort whatsoever on uh, the uh, jp morgan traders and uh, the london fix Gold also showing a bit of weakness there, but nothing like we're seeing in silver at the moment. 
there you've got uh, the down move it looks big but it's not and then the market rallying back up on the news the hawkish news and then uh, again watch uh, the low we are due for a correction or change in these markets anyway from uh, where they've been moving up they need a bit of a correction and they'll certainly bring that in with a, a rate uh, change if that happens on wednesday and it's above uh, half a percent okay that will do it for this one as we head into the weekend let's see what these uh, news items are today uh, like i say keep an eye on that same pattern that we've seen and of course patterns always change but there's been a consistent one this week for sure uh, which also plays to your strength here when it comes to uh, trading okay have a great weekend and as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one mm -hmm.